Hi, it's it's Lilac. Um, thanks for coming to the Lilac Room. I was all like, what am I gonna say? <laughs> I'm so suave. <laughs> I'm gonna do a reading for Aries. I just completed the Gemini reading. Um, tomorrow I'm going to a wedding shower and one of the people getting married is, is an Aries and one is a Gemini. So I'm going to read Aries next. Just kind of winging it here. I decided to go a little out of order with the signs just for fun, just mixing it up a bit. I thought it might help generate a little more authenticity with uh, the messages. So I'm going to start with the uh, Oracle cards. Dry Desert. Aries, you're out in the desert. Um, <laughs> I feel like Okay, I don't, and this is number 31, okay, for those of you who like numbers. Um, one of the first things I noticed in the card is there's something very phallic in the background. It's a cactus. Well, there's two of them. You go, Aries. And I just, I immediately got the, the feeling of, like, that someone tuning in might be, like, holding off on having sex. Like, might be, hold, maybe, waiting maybe abstaining, something like that, or maybe even having um, a sexually related issue. I, I know the irony, right? Dry desert it sounds like maybe they're having some dryness or whatever, but um, that's the message that I'm, that's coming through with that Oracle card. <laughs> and then we get deep freeze. <laughs> uh, you know, this is what happens when it's Friday night and I do late readings late at night. I start to get slightly loopy, then, you know, I've been watching, like, a period piece type TV series from Spain, and it's all, like, sensual and everything. Um, so, deep freeze. Is someone freezing you out? Maybe the reason Aries is not having sex has something to do with not just abstinence, but maybe someone is being cold to them. This is number 26 deep freeze um you know and also i'm getting the feeling of like a bipolar personality where <clears throat> the person is going from a dry desert to a deep freeze type of a, a shift in their personality and this doesn't have to be the aries person this could be someone in your life aries that is around you and is maybe exhibiting these behaviors and maybe that's hard for you could be someone at work could be a family member Coming apart. Number 46. It's very pretty with the beautiful purple. Almost resembles something artistic with the way it's designed. Um, there's the mirror imaging going, going on there. The words coming apart. You know, I definitely think that there is some mental health issue happening here more so than like it being a breakup card i think coming apart is like an emotional mental condition that this person is coming apart again doesn't have to be you it could be someone you know you might be experiencing this with them number 22 intention i love those double numbers guys two two so you know i think that the message here is trying to urge aries i'm going to get one more oracle card trying to urge Aries to set your intentions and understand that even if you are taking care of someone who maybe is not doing well mentally or emotionally or if it is a sexual situation if someone if it's not going well or isn't feeling right for you guys um, you can take back the power in the situation by by setting your intention and then having faith that that intention is being heard by the universe you're going to shift the energy sometimes it takes a little time depends on how good you are at manifesting how lovely i've never seen this card in the deck it says spirit of place and it's number four four april aries a lot of you are born in april it's absolutely beautiful and because I've never seen this card we're gonna go right to the book and see what it says there might be a really important message in here for you spirit of place authenticity is the essence of power 
Okay, I know I mentioned authenticity a few minutes ago, and also I talked about taking back the power. Okay, something is in my mouth. Okay. Our ancient ancestors believed that every place has a spirit looking after it or embodying it. Just as we have a soul, the plants, trees, birds, mountains, and rivers have their own essences. When the spirit of place arrives in your reading, it says that the answer to your question is in the overarching theme of your circumstances. Is your question about a struggle? The answer is to relax and let go of your need to control the situation. If your inquiry relates to finding love, then embody love rather than longing for it. Okay, so, you know, essentially, that is an awesome card, you know, and one of the things that I was saying earlier was that, um, you know, if you're not getting your needs met or there is somebody in your situation that needs help, um, that can be very draining for you, yes, but you can change the energy in the situation by changing your own energy. That's the only thing that you actually have any true ability to manage. I like to, I'm avoiding using the word control because I think control is a total illusion, although I try to have it at all times. <laughs> awesome oracle cards, Aries. I can't wait to see what your tarot cards are going to look like. <clears throat> So August 2021 for the Aries people, you fire signs, you know, we're in a fiery um, season, season of your sister sign, Leo. Aries, it's been a powerful year for you guys. I don't know um, specifically why, but I can feel it. Everything, everything, everything is just like everything I think of and hear and feel and sense all kind of centers around Aries. I know some Aries people. Um... Maybe I should check in with them all and see how they're doing. Showing up. <laughs> You're showing up in the center of your reading as the tower. <clears throat> Challenge being the mu magician. I feel like I've seen this set up before. <sighs> I know I have. I know there was another sign who I read for, and they had the tower and the magician in the center like this. So, for you, something has to come apart and usually things come apart so that something better can come together something more appropriate anything that wants to break apart guys like think of a building if it's not built well and it comes apart you know once it's broken down and you see it didn't work well why would you want it you don't want it you want something better something stronger um <clears throat> but I get the feeling, okay, I got a very specific message here. Some Aries wants to end a relationship, and they have to do it. They have to be this magician. <clears throat> In the past, there was um, happiness, but a lot of work. I think that this is talking about possibly that mental illness situation. We've got a king of pentacles in reverse. There could be an earth sign male connected with this situation or it could be a woman because it's a general reading I don't know who I'm reading for so although I'm seeing a man here um, in reverse it could be a woman w women do you know possess a fair amount of masculine energy in today's day and age we're out working and doing the things men used to do quite strictly and then you know men are embodying women's feminine side energy so it doesn't matter if this is a man or a woman, but this King of Pentacles in reverse is like... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what to say about them. Except there's something not right with them. Alright, and then you got the Judgment in reverse coming through this. This is some big energy, Aries. Big energy. Things really needed to come apart to come together in your life. I want to know what's going to happen in the future. Reversed strength. Reversed knight of pentacles. Reversed three of pentacles. The world in reverse. And the eight of pentacles. Well, 
it's you know it's it's definitely talking of, this is definitely a scenario where something has to be lost in order for something to be gained that is just a karmic cycle please do not think that that means that you have to make sacrifices and give things up and that you're you know i'm always losing something and every no that's not what it means it just means that right now in order to get through whatever this complication is you have to be brave your innermost thoughts and feeling the empress some of you are pregnant um some of you are just keeping everybody together and keeping everybody healthy and keeping everybody well and that's a powerful energy for you guys this is crazy you guys okay the energy in the outside of your circumstances is the emperor in reverse what the hell guys and the three of swords oh i don't like this okay you're the empress upright someone around you is an emperor in reverse and he's got these three of swords like they really want to cause some strife and aggravation somebody is not well health is not healthy mentally hopes and fears we've got the king of wands and the seven of wands in reverse I'm just going to grab one more four of pentacles yeah i think that this empress here is you whether you're a male or a female just go with it you're the empress you're thinking about home you're thinking about hearth you're thinking about fruitfulness you're trying to create an environment where everybody can live and be happy together someone around you is this emperor in reverse who was a king of pentacles in reverse they're gaining power in the situation around you so it could be at work could be a parental figure could be a relationship an intimate relationship um but your hope and fear in the situation is like you're trying to bring um this king or emperor into balance so i can't help but think that whoever this emperor is in the situation might have a mental health issue um, but also there's the four of pentacles like you just want to and the eight of pentacles also showed up it makes me think that whatever it is isn't super major you know maybe someone's just a little depressed and it's throwing everything off kilter i don't know but um it's a very hopeful situation i guess is what i'm trying to say it's not major although there's a lot of major cards showing up Page of Pentacles in reverse for your outcome with Justice Upright. I think that someone's having a health scare. You know, it's not so much... Whew, wow, it's like I feel sick from it. I feel nauseated. My stomach hurts from this reading. Um, so I guess what I'm trying to say to you is the feeling I'm getting from this is that something suddenly occurs that sort of threatens the stability of things. But the outcome is fine. Um, it's like a false alarm, basically. It's like a, it's like a scare. And I don't know why I wanna share this story, but like, okay, the other, yesterday felt weird around my house. Just the energy around here just felt strange. It was very odd and uh, my husband came home. He w he had food poisoning. It was very strange. He went to bed. He was sick all night. And then because he was not feeling well, me and the kids, we all stayed up a lot later than we would normally stay up. So it was like after midnight. And then sometime around midnight, my smoke detector and carbon monoxide detector in the basement started beeping. And I was like, what is going on? Like, it was all this like chaos going on, but at the end of it, there was nothing wrong. Like there was no actual emergency, but there was a lot that like happened in a short period of time. And it was sort of like, whoa, what's going on here? And that's how I feel like your August is gonna be. You know, I mean, there are some major players. I so For some of you, because I'm reading for many different people, for some of you, there's going to be some major events that are going to happen in August. And I feel like there's some power struggles connected with it. I feel like there's mental illness connected with it for some people. Um, 
so yeah, there's a lot going on there, Aries. A lot. Um, if you happen to want a personal reading to get a little more information, that's fine. We can do that. But otherwise, I hope that all is well, and I'm so glad that you tuned in. Namaste.